Rivers have been humanity's lifeblood for millennia as they have supported the first civilizations. It played an essential role in their lives due to the necessity of a source of fresh water for drinking and for irrigating their crops. These bodies of water were also a means of trade and paved the way for economic growth. Now that we have come into the modern days, rivers are not being treated with the same amount of reverence and respect as before. They are being defiled and polluted by all kinds of trash and waste. This surely couldn't be a healthy living environment, but why do we let it happen? What led to this? And what can we do to restore them to their former glory? In the province of Bulacan, one example of the region's former natural wonders is the Marilla River. The river travels all the way from Bulacan to the Manila Bay. It was renowned for its extensive history, but in addition, it was also recognized for its beauty and diverse ecosystem, in which it supported a wide range of species of fish, birds, and amphibians that all lived happily and thrivingly there. Truly, this river was vital for the animals and the people living near it. But sadly, the people did not show the care and the appreciation it needs. Instead, they slowly killed what was once home to wildlife. These rivers, a source of residential and agricultural water for hundreds of thousands of people living in and around Manila, are carelessly filled with significant industrial garbage. The severe contamination is caused by the various tanneries that discharge untreated hexavalent chromium into the river and the small-scale lead recycling plants. The local community depends on this poisonous tool even for daily water consumption, while it contains carcinogenic metal, lead, and human excrement. The effluents from this river, which drains straight into Manila Bay, pollute shellfish in regions where commercial fishing is practiced. Today, the Marilla River is regarded as one of the world's most polluted rivers. The river, which was deemed biologically dead in 1989, is the main source of roughly one-third of the organic debris that enters the natural harbor of the nation's capital, trailing only passing river in importance. A few administrations have tried revitalizing the Marilla River, but they have proved ineffective so far. Due to the various waste items, chicken manure and the dead fish that have attempted to cross the river, the river now smells awful and rotten, while the water is toxic and safe to drink. The river has become a graveyard, though before it was a paradise. The river has been dead for decades, but is there a way that we can bring it back to life? Rivers are fascinating locations where anyone may unwind and take in the beauty of nature. But rivers have always been important to humanity. The majority of the water supply is still sourced from rivers in many nations. Before being piped into homes, river water is filtered and purified. It also transports the fuel while cooling the plant. Rivers provide the perfect solution for escaping life's pressures. Regrettably, they continue to be in danger. For people and nature to flourish, we must dedicate ourselves to restoring freshwater biodiversity with its natural river flows and clearing up tainted water. Action para sa natatanging mundo. Hashtag only one earth.